Okay, there are two ways to do this problem. One is to use the calculator. And of course, you have to know what to calculate. And so they're saying from 88 to 91, which sector was the greatest decrease in the support for the arts? So you want to look for a change. So you have 88, you're going to 91. The change is from greatest to smallest. And so you can scan here, and you're going to be left with manufacturing and retail. They both drop by 11%. So the problem then becomes, well, wait a second. How can they both be the answer if they're both falling by the same percentage? But remember, you actually have to find the dollar amount. That is, if we take manufacturing, you have to say, well, 31%. What is 31% of 630 million? And of course, you could do all the math out here and subtract that from the 20% over here of 520 million, get your answer. And you'll find out that, oh, indeed, manufacturing is greater than retail in terms of the decrease. And that's your answer. Now, you can, of course, use the calculator. And I guess I, I would recommend using the calculator on this one. But there are different ways of doing things. Without the calculator, you can say, OK, well, we're looking at percent change. And we have 30%. And let's call it 20%. Why? Well, as long as I can keep the percent change the same, we're going to find out what happens here. They can end up being, that is manufacturing and retail, these two, can end up being the same because we can't have two answers. But let's test the principle. If the difference is the same, and the problem was 11% here, let's make it 10%. And the numbers are slightly different so that the greater number, instead of calling it 60, let's just call it 6, is next to the 30%. And the smaller number, instead of calling it 500 million, let's just call it 5. What happens? Is this one bigger or is this one bigger? And again, we're not we're changing the numbers, but we're not we're, cha we're not changing really the differences between the two. And so we can just say, okay, well, let's make it even easier. Instead of saying 30% or 0.3, let's just call it 30. So 30 times 6 minus 20 times 5 gives me to do the quick math, you get 80. If you do the same here for retail, let's bring this down over here, we get 20. Instead, remember, I'm calling the 20% just 20, and I'm keeping these the same. Six for the first year, 88, and five for 91. So 20 times six minus 10 times five, that ends up giving me 70. Look, it's lower. And you'll see that's always the case. And so you want to establish this pattern. And if you can do that faster than punching the calculator, great. If not, both cases, you're going to get M, which is or manufacturing, which is answer choice. Oops, ugly B. There we go, answer choice B.